Chlamydia is threatening local birds. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is at UC Davis with what researchers discovered and why they say more people should be aware of it. Um, we're treating him as if he has an upper respiratory infection because he was wheezing. Susan Manning is holding a red-tailed hawk. He is very close to being ready for a flight cage. Being rehabilitated at Tri-County Wildlife Care in Jackson, they are always cautious. We're always treating them for parasites because they come with all kinds of creepy crawly bugs and parasites and that's part of getting them healthy. But now a new threat has them exercising even more caution, says director Susan Manning. As we change our caging, we have to be very, very careful about sterilizing everything. A UC Davis research team found chlamydia in five wildlife rehabilitation centers in the state in a one-year period. It hits red-tailed hawks, Swainson's hawks, owls, even vultures. We're getting in birds that appear to be starving, and down. But not all may show outward signs of illness. A key finding given 50% of birds of prey do not survive their first year. That's why they're testing every bird that comes in. This one is negative. That's the big concern that they had was this could possibly be zoonotic and transmissible to humans and aerosolized. So through the air, when we're handling these birds, we need to wear an N95 mask. The viral infection is different than the STD in humans. The symptoms are similar to West Nile virus, but occur during the wrong season. They notice it with all the signs and the symptoms of lethargy and starvation and uh, plaques in the mouth. So that's why it could be aerosolized. Manning says they are always learning when it comes to wildlife investigations. Recently, we had a little bobcat kitten, and it probably was killed by heartworm and it was only seven months old. That's why their work and the work to prevent the spread of chlamydia. It may be bird specific, we just don't know yet. Allows them to soar to new heights when it comes to wildlife rescue and care.